There's a range of stromatolite types forming here in, in Shark Bay. In the intertidal zone we have three distinctive types of what we call microbial mats, benthic colonies of, of microbes. They're all dominated by cyanobacteria, at least in the upper millimetre or so of the microbial mats. But of course there are many other sorts of uh, bacteria and indeed archaea present in these, these mats in the upper few millimetres. A remarkable thing is that within these mats there are anaerobic, oxygen poor niches, uh, even, even in the upper millimetre of the mats where cyanobacteria are releasing oxygen. It's uh, anti-intuitive, but uh, it's been demonstrated to be so. So that's in the intertidal zone. Uh, in the, the subtidal area there are large domical and columnar stromatolites up to two metres high or so in up to five metres of water and they have um, mats that have within them cyanobacteria but they also have unicellular green algae and abundant diatoms and there are brown algae growing on them and caraphytes as well growing on them so they're, they're quite complex reef well they are it's a reef ecosystem uh, we know that uh, little shrimps live in cavities in those subtidal stromatolites. We know there are sponges um, on some of them. Uh, there, are, there are fish. There are small gastropods. But uh, um, despite the fact that there are organisms that are uh, living on the mats, grazing on the mats, using the mats as a source of food, um, the microbes still manage to dominate the, the ecosystem.